Here's an ancient mariner, he stopped at one of three. By thy long grey beard and glittering eye, now wherefore stops thou me? The bridegroom's doors are open wide, and I am next of kin. The guests are met, the feast is set, may smear the merry din. He holds him with his skinny hand, there was a ship for thee. Hold off one hand, me grey beard, loo left soon his hand dropped he. He holds him with his glittering eye, the wedding guest stood still. And listens like the three years child, the mariner hath his will. The wedding guest sat on a stone, he cannot choose but hear. And thus spake on that ancient man, the bright-eyed mariner. The ship was cheered, the harbor cleared, merrily did we drop. Below the kirk, below the hill, below the lighthouse top. The sun came up upon the left, out of the sea came he. And he shone bright, and on the right went down into the sea. Higher and higher every day, till over the mast at noon. The wedding guest here beat his breast, for he heard the loud bassoon. The bride hath paced into the hall, red as a rose is she. Nodding the heads before her goes the merry minstrelsy. The wedding guest he beat his breast, yet he cannot choose but hear. And thus spake on that ancient man, the bright-eyed mariner. And now the storm blast came, and he was tyrannous and strong. He struck with his oar, taking wings, and chased us south along. With sloping mast and dipping prow, as who pursued with yell and blow, still treads the shadow of his foe, and forward bends his head. The ship drove fast, loud roared the blast, and southward I we fled. And now there came both mist and snow, and it grew wondrous cold. And ice mast high came floating by, as green as emerald eyes. And through the drifts, the snowy cliffs did send a dismal sheen. Nor shapes of men nor beast we ken, the ice was all between. The ice was here, the ice was there, the ice was all around. It cracked and growled and roared and howled like noises in a swound. At length it crossed an albatross, thorough the fog it came. As if it had been a Christian soul, we hailed it in God's name. It ate the food it ne'er had eat, and round and round it flew. The ice did split with a thunder fit, the helmsman steered us through. And a good south wind sprung up behind, the albatross did follow. And every day for food or play came to the mariner's hollow. In mist or cloud, on mast or shroud, it perched for vespers nine. Whiles all the night through fog smoke white, glimmered the white moonshine. God save the ancient mariner from the fiends that plagued us. Why lookst thou so with my crossbow? I shot the albatross. The sun now rose upon the right. Out to the sea came he, still hid in mist, and on the left went down into the sea. And the good south wind still blew behind, but no sweet bird did follow, nor any day for food or play came to the mariner's hollow. And I had done a hellish thing, and it would work of woe. For all the bird, I'd killed the bird that made the breeze to blow. Our wretch said they the bird to slay that made the breeze to blow. Nor dim nor red like God's own head, the glorious sun uprest. Then all the bird, I'd killed the bird that brought the fog and mist. Twas right said they such birds to slay that bring the fog and mist. The fair breeze blew, the white foam flew, the furrow followed free. We were the first that ever burst into that silent sea. Down dropped the breeze, the sails dropped down, twas sad as sad could be. And we did speak only to break the silence of the sea. All in a hot and copper sky, the bloody sun at noon. Right up above, the mast did stand no bigger than the moon. Day after day, day after day, we stuck nor breath nor motion. As idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean. Water, water everywhere, in all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. The very deep did rot, O Christ, that ever this should be. Yea, slimy things did crawl with legs upon the slimy sea. About, about, in reel and rout, the death fires danced at night. The water, like a witch's oils, burnt green and blue and white. 
And some in dreams a seer it were of the spirit that made the soul. Nine fathom deep he had followed us from the land of mist and snow. And every tongue through utter drought was withered at the root. We could not speak no more than if we had been choked with soot. Ah, well a day! What evil looks had I from old and young? Instead of the cross, the albatross about my neck was hung. There passed a weary time, each throat was parched and glazed each eye. A weary time, a weary time, how glazed each weary eye. When looking westward, I beheld a something in the sky. At first it seemed a little speck, and then it seemed a mist. It moved and moved and took at last a certain shape I wist. A speck, a mist, a shape I wist, and still it is. Neared and neared as if it dodged a water sprite, it plunged and tacked and veered. With throats unslaked, with black lips baked, we could nor laugh nor wail. Through utter drought all dawn we stood, I bit my arm, I sucked the blood, and cried a sail, a sail. With throats unslaked, with black lips baked, a guy they heard me call. Gramercy they for joy did grin, and all at once their breath drew in, as they were drinking all. See, see, I cried, she tacks no more, hither to work us wheel, without a breeze, without a tide, she steadies with upright keel. The western wave was all aflame, the day was well nigh done. Almost upon the western wave, rested the broad bright sun. When that strange shape drove suddenly betwixt us and the sun. And straight the sun was flecked with bars, heaven's mother's door. Send us grace as if through a dungeon great he peered with broad and burning face. Alas, thought I, and my heart beat loud, how fast she nears and nears are those her sails that glance in the sun. Like restless gossamers are those her ribs through which the sun did peer as through a grate. And is that woman all her crew? Is that a death? And are there two? Is death that woman's mate? Her lips were red, her looks were free, her locks were yellow as gold. Her skin was as white as leprosy, the nightmare life in death was she, who fits man's blood with cold. The naked hulk alongside came, and the twain were casting dice. The game is done, I've won, I've won, quoth she and whistles thrice. The sun's ring dips, the stars rush out, at one stride comes the dark. With far-heard whisper, o'er the sea, off shot the spectre bark. Sideways up, feel at my heart as at a cup, my life blood seemed to sip. The stars were dim and thick the night, the steersman's face by his lamp gleamed white. From the sails the dew did drip, till clung above the eastern bar, the hornet moved with one bright star within the nether tip. One after one, by the star looked moon too quick for groan or sigh. Each turned his face with a ghastly pang and cursed me with his eye. Four times fifty living men, and I heard nor sigh nor groans. With a heavy thump, a lifeless lump, they dropped down one by one. The souls did from their bodies fly, they fled to this woe woe. And every soul did pass me by like the whiz of my crossbow. I fear the ancient mariner, I fear thy skinny hand. And thou art long and lank and brown as is the rip sea sand. I fear thee, and thy glittery eye, and thy skinny hand so brown. Fear not, fear not, thou wedding guest, this body dropped not down. Alone, alone, all, all alone, alone on a wide, white sea. And never a saint took pity on my soul in agony. The many men so beautiful, and they all dead did lie. And a thousand, thousand slimy things lived on, and so did I. I looked upon the rugged sea, and drew my eyes away. 
I looked upon the rotting sea, and there the dead men lay. I looked to heaven and tried to pray, but forever a prayer had gushed. A wicked whisper came and made my heart as dry as dust. I closed my lips and kept them close, and the balls like pulses beat. For the sky and the sea, and the sea and the sky. Lay dead like a load on my weary eye, and the dead were at my feet. The cold sweat melted from their limbs, nor rat nor reek did they. The look with which they looked on me had never passed away. An orphan's curse would drag to hell a spirit from on high. But oh, more horrible than that is the curse in a dead man's eye. Seven days, seven nights I saw that curse, and yet I could not die. The moving moon went up the sky, and nowhere did abide. Softly she was going up, and a star or two beside. Her beams beam off the salt remain like April or frost spread. But where the ship's huge shadow lay, the charm and water burnt our way, a still and awful red. Beyond the shadow of the ship, I watched the water snakes. They moved in tracks of shining white, and when they reared, the elfish light fell off in hoary flakes. Within the shadow of the ship, I watched their richer time. Blue glossy green and velvet black, they coiled and swam, and every track was a flash of golden fire. Oh, happy living things, no tongue their beauty might declare. A spring of love gushed from my heart, and I blessed them unaware. Sure, my kind saint took pity on me, and I blessed them unaware. The self-same moment I could pray, and from my neck so free. The albatross fell off and sank like head into the sea. Beloved from pole to pole. sails did sigh like sedge, and the rain poured down from one black cloud, the moon was at its edge. The thick black cloud was cleft, and still, the moon was at its side. Like water shot from some high crag, the lightning fell with never a jag, a river steep and wide. The loud wind never reached the ship, yet now the ship moved on. Beneath the lightning and the moon, the dead men gave a groan. They groaned, they stirred, they all uprose, nor spake, nor moved their eyes. It had been strange, even in a dream, to have seen those dead men rise. The helmsman steered, the ship moved on, yet never a breeze up blew. The mariners all gan work the ropes, where they were wont to do. They raised their limbs like lifeless tools. We were a ghastly crew. The body of my brother's son stood by me, knee to knee. The body and I pulled at one rope, but he said naught to me. I fear thee, ancient murder. Be calm, thou wedding guest. 
Twas not those souls that fled in pain, which to their courses came again. But a troop of spirits blessed, For when it dawned, they dropped their arms and clustered round the mast. Sweet sounds rose slowly through their mouth and from their bodies passed. flew each sweet sound, then darted to the, the sun. Slowly the sounds came back again, now next, now one by one. Sometimes a dropping from the sky, I heard the skylark sing. Sometimes all little birds that are, how they seem to fill the sea and air with their sweet jargoning. And now it was like all instruments, now like a lonely flute. And now it is an angel's song that makes the heavens be mute. It ceased, yet still the sails made on a pleasant noise till noon. A noise like of a hidden brook. In the leafy month of June, that to the sleeping woods all night, sing the quiet tune. Till noon we quietly sail on, yet never a breeze did breathe. Slowly and smoothly when the ship moved onward from beneath. Under the keel nine fathom deep, from the land of mist and snow, the spirit slid and it was he that made the ship to go. The sails at noon left off their tune, and the ship stood still also. The sun right up above the mast, it fixed her to the ocean. But in a minute she didn't stir, but a short uneasy motion. Backwards and forwards half her length, but a short uneasy motion. Then like a pawing horse let go, she made a sudden bound. It flung the blood into my head. And I fell down in a swamp. Roll along in that safe bit I lay. I have not to declare. But here my living life returned. I heard and in my soul discern two voices in the air. Is it he? Quote one. Is this the man? By him who died on cross. With his cruel bow he lay for long. The harmless albatross, the spirit who bid it by himself in the land of mist and snow. He loved the bird that loved the man who shot him with his bow. The other was a softer voice, as soft as honey dew. For he, the man, had penance done, and penance more will do. But tell me, tell me, speak again, thy soft response renewing. What makes that ship drive on so fast? What do you mean? Is the ocean doing? Still as a slave before his lord, the ocean hath no blast. His great bright eye most silently up to the moon is cast. If he may know which way to go, for she guides him smooth or grim. See, brother, see how graciously she looketh down on him. But why drives on that ship so fast without a wave or wind? The air is cut away before and closes from behind. Fly, brother, fly, more high, more high, or we shall be belated. For slow and slow that ship will go when the mariner's trance is abated. I woke and we were sailing on. Together, together on the 
my eyes. 